Hi there, my name is Denise Eckert. I'm from the Relaxation Lounge, and I love coming on here and sharing wonderful ideas to help you reduce the stress in your life. And today I've got Linda Landon, and she's a certified deep coaching practitioner, certified human design specialist, and experienced seminar leader. Plus, she's an author of a few different books, The Power of Pause, Simple Meditations for Complicated Lives, and Ignite Your Vitality Using Human Design and a contributing author to stop overworking and start overflowing. She's also the creator of the Wellness Sexuality Practice for Individuals and Couples. And Linda is passionate about guiding people to maximize their vitality and wellness, especially when we grow older. So welcome, Linda. Hello, Denise. It's very nice to meet you and be here with you today. Now, I love asking this question, is how did you get to this journey that you're sharing with other people? (laughs) Well, I'm in my 60s and it's been a remarkable journey. I would say I have been following my heart since I was 18. When I look back at my past, everything that I did at the time was part of, I mean, even though I, I just would have never guessed I'd be here now, everything I did along the way was the next step to the thing that was coming and I didn't know what it was. So I am not one of those people that had a plan. I was going to be a doctor, a lawyer, a nurse, so whatever, a housewife. I just kind of followed my my heart and my instincts. And that got me where I am now. Wonderful. Yeah. So I'm dying to know, and I bet you the audience as well, what is human design? Yeah. (laughs) Human design. Human design. It's this amazing technology that synthesizes all these like century old traditions that some of you have probably heard of like astrology, the I Ching, the chakra system, the Kabbalah and quantum physics into a blueprint, a map of your life. And I have worked in a lot of different traditions and actually taught things like the Enneagram and dabbled in astrology and the I Ching and when I discovered human design, it blew, it blew my mind. It completely changed the way I saw myself in the world. And it's been radical for how it supports not only me, but me and my understanding of myself, but how I work with my clients and how I help my clients understand themselves. Okay. So what is it like Enneagram? Like, do you do a bunch of questions and a questionnaire and then? Yeah, great, great. So. To run a chart, all a person needs to do is submit their birth information. And on my website, there's actually a place where you can click and I'll run your chart and send you a copy of my book. So you submit your birth information and then you get this chart of that's graphically absolutely gorgeous to look at, but makes no sense. And what you start to do is using research in my book, you start to parse apart what it means and then you can meet with someone like myself or another human design specialist and get what i call a human design session where you really start to use this chart as a roadmap for how to navigate your life in the easiest and most pleasurable and effortless way possible so it's a roadmap it's a blueprint it's a confirmation of who you already are and it's also a I mean, there's so many things, but it's also a tool to help you better understand and have compassion for all those foibles, all those things about yourself. You're kind of like, oh, and come to see that those are just part of who you are and they can be opportunities to grow and learn and just be a better iteration of yourself. <sighs> so now once you've discovered human design, how did it change your life? Well, I'm going to talk a little bit about like there are different layers of human design. Like the top layer is what we call the types. And then underneath that, there are different layers and then it gets more and more complex. But in human design, according to human design, there are five different kinds of people. There are the manifestors, the manifesting generators, the generators, the projectors, and the reflectors. Now, when I discovered human design, I found out I was a projector and it completely turned my world upside down because 
a projector who is following her strategy, and it's very important in human design to follow your strategy so that your life moves into flow. A projector who's following her strategy does not work nine to five, does not push, does not pressure herself, does not do, 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 and build and grow. And like, that's not their nature. A projector waits to be recognized and invited in to an environment, a situation, a client, whatever, and then they light up and they teach and guide. Projectors are here to be guides to all those types, i.e. the project, the um, generators and the manifesting generators who are busy working really hard, building, creating, and doing things. Those are the doers of the world. And the projectors are what we call the ones who are here to be. So there's like a, you know, I, I wrote this article and it was my chapter in this book, how to be in a just do it world. Cause our culture says you're supposed to do, you're supposed to make it happen. You're supposed to just bring and do it cause you say so. And projectors can't. And when they try to do that, they burn out. And believe me, I know how to do that really well. So now when you experienced burnout, was this something that you turned to? Something that I returned to? That you turned to, to help you with the burnout? Well, let's put it this way. When I discovered human design, and that I was a projector, all of a sudden I understood how I was, how I had been burning myself out my whole life. Because my whole life, I was trying to be a generator. I was trying to build, create, following all the marketing gurus. You know, I, I took lots of courses. I was, you know, people would say, I worked hard on my business than anybody they knew. And I also got sick a lot. I would just hit the wall especially every time my business would start to grow and reach a certain point, I'd crash. Or every time I was stepping into something new in my life and I was really working hard to get there, I would crash. Being a projector explained to me why I was burning out and then learning how to live in the world as a projector like took away the burnout. So for instance, now, like my mantra is rest, play, and then do a little work. And I really lived this, Denise, I swear to God. I got up this morning, I fed my cats, I did my meditation practices, I took a walk, I was a projector. And because I'm following this strategy, I have, I'm happier than I've ever been, I have more energy than I've ever been, and my business has actually grown exponentially. It's so, like, mind-blowing. And it took years to surrender into not doing. And I still have to work with that. And if I push too hard, I pay the price. It's amazing. There's yeah. a lot more joy. Yeah, when, when you follow your type, it's pretty awesome. Well, that's the thing. In our culture, we are to believe we need to do this and we need to do that and we need to do that and if that is not in our personality or not in our dna we're really going against the grain and mm -hmm. yeah we're burning out we're making ourselves sick our immune system is down you know so for someone that's interested in finding out more what steps can they take well you can go to my website igniteyourjoy.us and go to the page on human design and you can click there to get a chart and get a copy of my ebook that's all free and then if you want to go deeper you can get a session with someone who's really trained in the modality which i am but there are many others and get a session or two to really see how this chart parses out for you because there's so many multitudes of layers of information in that chart. And what I do with people is when they have a session with me, I invite them to go out and practice for a couple of weeks and then come back and check in with their questions, let me know how it's going, how, it's, how they're doing. And I also really encourage people to start practicing what's called their strategy before they even come to their first session. Because then we can dive deeper into the, the nuances of their chart. Could you share some other stories that you've had 
with clients? Oh gosh. Well, I so I've had clients across across the spectrum, except I haven't had a reflector client, but I know reflectors. For instance, I've had a couple of clients who are manifestors. And so I'm going to talk about more the type than the, the specifics of the client. Manifestors are very unusual. They're like 8% of the population. Projectors are like 20%. Manifestors are like 8%. And manifestors are those people you know who just create. They just initiate. They come up with these a brilliant, amazing things, inventions, and then they have to move on. They can't finish it. They can start it, and then they hand it over, and they head off and do something else. And they don't really like to be with other people. They really like to do their own thing. They're kind of the lone rangers, and they can drive other people crazy. But when a manifester, and I'm thinking of this client, honors that he's a manifester, and he lets people know when he's about to go off and do another thing, just informs the people around him what he's up to, they can relax and support him to go do his thing. So that's a manifesto. Generators, which are about, let's see, I'm going to get my numbers wrong. Manifesting generators and generators are about 77% of the population. Generators are the steady, the people who are steady, really like to focus on one thing that they love and stick with it until they master it. And when they're doing what they love, they can go and go and go. They just have unlimited energy to complete whatever that is. They're very steady. They're great for us. Like my most favorite virtual assistant was a, was a generator. I have another assistant who is a projector and she really gets me on a whole other level but it was the generator who could just steadily kind of stay with i know generators i have a generator friend who is on her fourth book i mean they produce and what's important is that they stay with what they love and they respond to what arises moment by moment by moment and then the manifesting generators are generators with manifesting energy who love to do new things and they can do more than one thing at a time. And they have, again, that unexhaustible energy just to go, go, go when they're doing what they love. So I, you know, I've had people in all those different realms. I'm sure you probably, you know, have people in your lives who are all different kinds. And the reflector type, is very interesting. There's someone who is, well, I haven't even talked about this layer, but there's a, in human design, we look at what we call openness and definition. There are, you have different centers that are kind of like chakra centers, energy centers, and some of them are colored in or defined, and some of them are open. And when they're open, you're very empathic and receptive and receiving energy and wisdom from everything around you. And receptive reflectors have all those centers wide open. So they're like incredibly sensual and intuitive and very much like um, social activists and very fluid because they don't have this defined sense. Their whole way of being is kind of filled in by the environment that they're in. So they're, they're just a very unusual kind of person. Um, ask me some more questions. I do well with questions. <laughs> well, what, I guess, I mean, the people that you do work with, once they understand what type they are, the relief that they must feel, and then, yeah. you know, getting them to flourish, to work the way they want to work, which is yeah. amazing. Yeah, you know, that's key. I know um, I suffered from burnout for many, many times. So yeah, I'm just, I'm going to be jumping over to your website to find out what I am because I know I've tried it. I did it, I don't know, about a year ago, I guess, but I can't remember. Oh, please run your, let me run your chart. <laughs> you know, and here's the thing. It's not just projectors who, who burn out. It's any type of person who doesn't follow the strategy, the way of being in the world that suits them. Like generators are here to do work that they love and respond moment by moment by moment to what arises. 
if a generator is doing something that they don't want to do, they don't love, they will burn out. Yeah. Manif yeah, and manifesting generators are here to do, to multitask, to do multiple things at one time. If you force a manifesting generator or if they force themselves to just stay on one thing, they will burn out. So it's really not just, I mean, projectors seem to be the, um, the masters of burnout, <laughs> but they're not the only types that have that. And, you know, to what you were saying, when I unpack what a chart is saying to my client, it's such, you just see them just, oh, they just, the relief that comes over them. It's like, I'm not weird. There's nothing wrong with me. This is who I am. And this is how I can really skillfully work with it. Like I, um, I have a lot of clients who are projectors, surprise, surprise. You know, one thing that projectors really do well with is having another person or something support them financially so they don't have to do all the heavy lifting themselves. Mm -hmm. And one of my clients who's really thriving um, works very part-time and has some investments. You know, she inherited some money and she has some money that supports her. So she can relax and, and work when she's called to, and she's very creative. She's a writer and an actress and not be burdened with that need to work nine to five, which suits a generator, but doesn't suit a projector. Um, I have a friend who's a projector, who's a mom. And it was really great that she had a husband, has a husband who could do, you know, the heavy lifting in terms of financial support. So she could be a full-time mom with extra help because being a full-time mom is a full-time job and she's a projector. So she was able to get extra support so she could rest. When projectors begin to understand they're not supposed to do all the heavy lifting, they're allowed to have support, it's a tremendous relief. And if they can't have that support, I support them in working sustainably at what they have to do until they can repurpose their life, you know, their schedule, their workplace, so that they have more, more free time. When so it's been, it's just incredible for clients. Um, I have, yeah, I mean, oh my gosh, I have another client who's a manifester who is really learning, has really discovered what his own innate rhythm is. And he creates in these bursts and then he just chills out for a month or two. And that works for him. His business is booming because he's letting himself follow his inner guidance and his own energy flow. Wow. It's amazing. So we're going to start wrapping it up. Is there any special words you'd like to share with the audience? I would say find ways to trust yourself. You know, I think human design and, and many other practices, I mean, there, were, uh, there are others that came to me and are still a part of my life, but find a way to trust yourself. And as like one of my former teachers, Don Miguel Ruiz, perhaps you're familiar with the four agreements, you know, one of the things he said is, honey, don't take it personally. You know, what other people say or do is about them. It's not about you. Find a way to stand in the truth of who you are and get support, get support to validate and hold you in that because there's so much in this world that, that pushes back against us being who we truly, truly are. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Especially, I don't know, when I was working in corporate, I think that was the worst. You were the little robot doing what everybody else expected you to do. And I really didn't, I didn't fit in there at all. <laughs> no. It was horrible. Like I, I, every morning I would wake up and I would almost make my, well, I would make myself sick to call in. And then the minute I called in, I felt fine. <laughs> yeah, because you weren't supposed to be there. And you know what, Denise, I did that too. I worked in corporate for a while. Yeah. And I used to get physically sick at the thought of going in. And then as soon as I made that call, I was like, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Little secrets. <laughs> I'm yeah. so glad you oh, my found boss isn't listening at the moment, but whatever. <laughs> I'm so glad you found, you know, work that's in alignment with who you are. 
these yeah. podcasts are incredible. Very important to be in alignment with what you want to do. You know, it's just, uh, and having that, having the time to do it and the freedom to do it when you want to do it. Cause I know there's a lot of times where things just don't resonate with me. So I put it off. And then next thing you know, if I do it another day, it just flows right out of me. You know, I'm not forcing anything. Yeah. And, you know, for those of us who don't have that, that spaciousness, you know, what I, what I offer is support in being with what arises, even if you have to go against what's energetically correct, how to really love and hold compassion for yourself while you do that until you can move into a place that's more supportive because you know not everybody can just work when they feel like it some people have to go to work so how do you sustain and take care of yourself in an environment that's not completely sustainable for you yeah big questions yeah yeah it's hard well thank you so much for your time today i really enjoyed this and yes um you know i encourage anybody who's interested to go over to linda's website I will be adding all her information wherever you're watching this or listening to this and find out who, what you are and, uh, you know, reach out to Linda to find, get further information. Well, thank you so much for your time today, Linda. It's really nice to meet you, Denise. Thank you. Okay. Well, thank you for listening. If you're looking for more ways to reduce the stress in your life, please visit www therelaxationlounge.info. Here I've got access to a free Facebook page where you can get support, information on the podcast where I interview different individuals who share their techniques to help you reduce your stress, plus a membership that you can join where you can come and do stress reducing practice on demand anytime you need to reduce the stress in your life and create more happiness in your world. I'll see you in the lounge.